Hey guys, what's up? I'm Akabane101. This is Halo Reach the campaign. We're doing a let's play of this. Still, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you Halo guys. We're gonna be playing on, well, we're not gonna be playing on Noble Actual. We're gonna be playing on New Alexandria at the mission start. Let that campaign load. Pretty sure I did that before. But yeah, so I pretty much have determined that if I release four videos for four different series each day, I should be able to release about 120 quality videos for you guys a month. So I'm hoping that uh, works out, so keep liking, commenting, and subscribing. And it's always a big help, guys, and always tell your friends about it because um, I really hope that I can uh, show more people of these quality, awesome videos that I love to do for you guys because it's a lot of fun and I love explaining things to you guys. But for now, I'm going to click on that Start Solo Campaign button and we're going to get an awesome cutscene, as usual, from Bungie. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Your report will have to wait, Lieutenant. The Covenant are jamming all comms to command. Cat needs your help running a counter-op. It's good to have you back. Sorry I came alone. Make him proud. All right, guys, and here we are. New Alexandria. A little bit of a sad cutscene there, but we're gonna hop right into this Hornet here. I believe it's a Hornet. Yeah, it could be something else. I completely forgot what these things are called. Now, I completely don't remember how to fly this thing. <laughs> okay. Um... Alright, how do I... how do I gain altitude? Is it the left trigger? There we go! <laughs> okay. I haven't flown one of these things ever. If you ever see me in a multiplayer game, and you see me trying to fly one of these things, please stay away. I will end up killing you and our entire team. Alright. Let's move on. Let's go get that little area there. Looks, uh, looks promising. And it's a little glowing. New Alexandria Hospital. Okay. Are they gonna hospitalize me? Wow, I just said hospitalize and like in a very strange way. Maybe I'm going crazy or something. This Dark Souls business is getting crazy on me. Alright, let's do this. Let's take him down. Oh yeah, right trigger. Awesome. I believe there's only a gun on this thing. I don't think there's anything else. Question why? Yeah, there's only a gun. Alright, let's, uh, let's go in the heli. I, I like to land over here because it's my favorite spot. I don't know why. I don't know why this is my favorite spot. It just seems like nice and cozy for this thing to, you know, hang out in. Alright, let's go in. Save some Marines. Haven't been, haven't been playing Halo too much lately, so I'm probably gonna mess up royally. But I mean, that's the fun about it, right? You gotta you gotta go in here, blindsided, not knowing what you're doing, kicking ass anyway. Oh, hey guys, what's up? What's up? I see there's an engineer in here. Let's deal with these guys first. Oh, good, I have an assault rifle. That's perfect. Let's so deal with these guys. Come on, let's go, grunts. You I you guys are gonna die. No chance of survival! Uh, I was really hoping that was going to be an assassinatoration. What's up? What's up, engine? I'm. St oh, I can't even shoot him. Wow, that sucks. Wait, can I shoot him now? There we go. That's perfect. There we go. That's a lot better. Now that they're uh, they're shitty ash, awesome shields. 
Shitty ass shot from shield sh should end the rampage. Unless there's another one, then that would just suck. Okay, good, there's not another one. Oh wait, the shields are gone, now I can use this gun. The DMR, there's a shotgun. Griff, give me my shotgun. Shotgun, damn it. Oh yeah, let's get it. Let's get it going. I love it. If only this thing had a long range on it. Like a Call of Duty range of some sort. What is this Call of Duty you speak of, Lord Arcabane? Well, it's this game based off 500 years ago. Actually, 550 years ago, if you want to be accurate. Around the year 2000. Where humans had wars. And so Call of Duty based itself off Modern War. But Modern War is in space. I know. That's the crazy thing. They think it's actual modern warfare. When real modern warfare is in space. <laughs> oh, God. Speaking of modern warfare, who's going to be picking up Modern Warfare 3? I want to know. That'd be very cool. I'm going to be picking up Battlefield 3 for the PC. I'm, I'm not sure which console I'm getting the Modern Warfare game for, uh, considering... Uh, Xbox is probably one of the best multiplayer platforms, and PC, I mean, PC is still awesome. I just don't have any anyone that really plays on the PC, uh, to the extent of, like, a casual gamer, you know, like, uh, PC is very hardcore. Uh, if you're ever gonna play Call of Duty on that game, it's very, very hardcore. Uh, I tried playing, uh, Black Ops on the PC. <laughs> Excuse me while I scratch my nose, and there we go. Um, yeah, I tried playing, uh... Black Ops on the PC, I bought that for about 60 bucks. I mean, these, these Call of Duty games are coming out for a ridiculous price still. Um, I, I believe I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 for like 40 bucks. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate that the game's so expensive considering they're coming out with their third game already. Um, but I found out that if you pre-order, I believe, um, uh, Modern Warfare 3, you can get Modern Warfare 1 for, for free. And um, they're kind of a... That kind of sucks, because I, I, I didn't realize that until uh, after I bought Modern Warfare 1. But, you know, it's not really a big deal. I mean, I do enjoy their games enough to support them. I, I, I tend to support a lot of my games here. Um, like, I, I don't... I'm not necessarily the person that would want to, like, pirate anything. I mean, pirating... Pirating I don't like, because, I mean, you're not supporting the company. If you're going to be playing a video game... Honestly, uh, if, if you're deciding on playing a game, just go out and buy it or save up your money and get it. I mean, if you really want to play it that bad, go go save up your money and, you know, buy the game legit. Because it's it's not helping out these game developers enough if you're just going to be pirating the game. So, it's, it's just not fair to people that do um, so much work for a, a game that you're going to play. And then uh, you end up pirating it. But anyway, that's a, that's pretty much my take on it. But like I said, I really do enjoy you know getting games. You know the the thrill of saving up your money, going out. You know buying buying an awesome game like ba Battlefield 3, Halo Reach, Halo 3, uh, Modern Warfare 3. I guess. Um, I mean it's definitely definitely very awesome. Let's see if we got some uh, flying guys here. Oh man, I have really terrible, terrible history with these guys. They are, they are not my friend. They just want me dead all the time. Come on, there we go. That's right. Come on, take me on. It's alright, I got a shotgun. Eat it, young little elite of jump packiness. I don't like you. I don't like you, come on, come on, here. Damn it. I wish you could shotgun while you're sprinting, but also that wouldn't make sense because you'd be very inaccurate and you also wouldn't be really sprinting if your gun's like in front of your face. Um, I guess you could hold it at your hip maybe? I mean if you're sprinting? I don't know. This, this is the most making sense part of it. Oh man, it's one of those giant evil ones though. The hero elites I believe. I don't think that's a hero one, but it's one of the difficult ones and I think I'm probably going to get totaled here. Because those guys tend to carry large evil weapons of destruction. And all that crap. Alright, let's try and get him from a little bit long range here. Ah, uh, man. It sucks to get infinite ammo and everything. I mean, that's just unfair. Alright, let's get him. Let's get him. One on one, man. One on one. You made one. Yeah! Owned! Alright. Shotgun for the win. I love the shotgun. It's a great, great weapon. Whoever invented the shotgun props. I mean, you're awesome, man. Shotgun is the best weapon ever invented for close quarters. 
And a sniper rifle is the best weapon ever invented for long range attacks. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, I'm retarded. But, oh, well. I mean, it comes with uh, you guys watching me playing a game. Uh, anyway. I do love playing uh, first-person shooters, of course, as you guys can tell. 